Hello and welcome to Venusian Scorpio Intuition. This video is going to be for my lovely Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and also his cross watchers. The time frame of August 22nd through September 1st, guys. Yeah, it's going to cover that time period. But as we know, time is an illusion, okay? We go off energy, and energy is like water. It spills over in different times and lapses and does all types of shit, okay? So don't get stuck on the dates. Also, don't get stuck on the signs. If I say particular signs, it doesn't have to be that person's sign. They could just exude that energy, okay? So say if I say I have a king of wands, somebody could be very, um, uh, you know, charming, uh, very energetic. Um, it could be a father or whatever, but it, this person could be a Virgo. It could just be the energy that they're, they're exuding. I get a lot of comments about stuff like that, so that's why I'm... Uh, putting it out there for people that are just new to tarot because the people that's been looking at it y'all already know the deal okay if the energy does not resonate don't try to make it fit okay guys um there are 999,000 other readers out here click off and take your ass over there somewhere else okay it might not be your week Alrighty, guys so this is going to be for virgo sun moon rising and venus for the time period of August 22nd through September 1st. In regards to readings, um, I'm catching back up now. If I have a reading that I'm doing for you, it is coming soon um, within the next couple of days if you if it's been a while, okay? Um, other than that, if you would like a personal reading, reach out to me at intuition at gmail.com. I have all types of reading. My most popular is my intense love reading for $40, where it looks into your person's energy, subconscious, unseen, secretly, or hidden. Then we look at their intentions, their actions towards you. Then we look at how they just feel overall. We look at the blockages, and then we close up the reading with the romance oracles. So it's a pretty in-depth reading, and people are loving them. So um, if you would like one, reach out to me. also have things for a career. Um, and pretty much why are you feeling a certain way? Pretty much everything. So just reach out and you can look at what I offer. I have readings as low as $20. So there's something for someone. Okay. So let's get to it. Sorry for the long intro guys, but I had a lot of new subscribers. So I'm just letting them know what's going on. All right, let's get to it. Virgo, I know you guys have been missing me. Don't be me up too bad. Okay. It's been a rough week. The energy has been crazy. I've been extremely tired. I've been getting migraines. It's just been crazy. Okay guys. So work with me okay holy spirit and archangels what messages do you have for my lovely virgo sun moon rising and venus also the cross watchers as well i got this card in the pre-shuffle and that card is the eight of cups okay so somebody's walking away from something either someone's walking away from you sorry that's too many cards either someone's walking away from you or maybe you're walking away from someone but we're going to clarify it because it's going to let us know what's really going on all right, the overall energy we have here is the King of Cups. So some of you guys be messing with the Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer, okay? And then a general reading, we don't look at it if it's a man or a woman. It's just, you know, vice versa, switch it around for how you need it to be switched, okay, guys? So we have the King of Cups. This is somebody that controls their emotions, okay? But they do have emotions. They're not like the King of Swords that's aloof and distant emotionally. This person has emotions, a lot of them. But a king, they can control it better than any other person in the deck, okay? All right. So somebody, some of you guys could be trying to control your emotions right now. Clarifying the king of cups. We have the knight of cups and the justice card. So, um, somebody might be wanting to set the record straight, Virgo, in this time frame or outside the time frame. So you guys could already go through this. Some of you guys will be going through this. And some of you guys are going through it right now. You also have to pay attention to that as well. We have the King of Cups with the Knight of Cups. A lot of emotions. Definitely love situation going on here. Somebody wants to set the record straight and come in emotionally. Okay, guys? Now, we do have the Eight of Cups here where someone walked away from something. And we're going to clarify that. It could be this King of Cups coming to set the record straight. Let you know that they do have feelings for you. But we're going to see. Can you clarify the Eight of Cups for me, Holy Spirit and Archangels? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, Knight of Wands. So you could have left someone that had fuck boy or fuck girl energy. Or it could be somebody that travels a lot and in and out of your life a lot. Okay? Could have been an Aries because we have a full card here. This person that goes in and out or has fuck boy energy, they want a new beginning with you. They do not want to um, let you walk away. Okay, that could be why this person is maybe showing emotions now and coming towards you and wanting to set the record straight, okay? 
Mm -hmm. It could have been a third party situation, but this person really wants to reunite. We're going to clarify the three of cups. Okay. Yeah, they want to, this is about reuniting with the three of cups here. They want a passionate new beginning for sure. There's a lot of fire here. I really feel like it's a fire sign. It could be a Virgo for some of you guys. Um, you guys could have been on a break, all right? But this person could have did some deep soul searching and now they like come back renewed, showing emotions, wanting to start over with you, Virgo, okay? Or vice versa. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. Uh, I wanted to say Libra, so it could be Libra for some of you guys. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving knight in the deck, okay? We have the Queen of Wands here, Virgo. Um, somebody could see you as turning their back on your back on them because the Queen of Wands, she really stands up for herself. She really um, exudes power. So somebody could, this person, if you walked away from them, they could have been really scared to uh, come your way and that's why they were coming really slowly. Now it seems like they're flying in. Maybe they built up the courage, okay? Because you had turned their back on them. It could be a King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like you the one who, you could be the one to turn their back and is a little aloof. You could be in the King of Swords energy and standing up for yourself. So this per so you could be moving slowly towards this person to reunite or they wanted to move slowly towards you because they're a little afraid. But I feel like you do want to manifest something with this person because we have the magician, also Aries energy. So it could definitely be an Aries for some of you guys, okay? But they, they're probably going to message you about this new beginning with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Um, but that, that's somebody actually coming your way. The Knights are people that travel towards you, okay? Again, we got the Knight of Pentacles again. Yeah, you could want to manifest this, but you want to move slowly. You don't want to rush. But the way this person is coming in, it's like they're rushing. So you might, it could be a Capricorn for you guys. Or is that you want to take it slow because this person was toxic as shit, even though you really do want to give them a chance. I hear some of you guys saying, like, we got to start over. Like, I mean, I'll give you this chance, but it can't be the old way. Yeah, you were burdened by a Capricorn or a curved Capricorn was burdened because you were moving so slow. Um, but all in all, it could be very burdened by the toxic aspects of the situation and shit. What are the burdens here? Mm -hmm. Some of them, you guys have a family together, so that's why it was a little... It's like some people, they try to hold on to things for the family, but it was toxic as shit. So somebody could have been forced to leave, okay? Or somebody is toxic as hell, but this brings them emotional contentment, and it's a burden. Just as much as it's toxic, because Spirit has let me know, just as much as it's a, it's a burden... It is just as much as it makes you happy and it gives you emotional fulfillment. So it's like it cancels itself out to the point where it's like, is this even fucking worth it? Y'all know when my nose gets to itching. Is it even fucking worth it? Because just as hard as it is, it's just as good as it makes me feel. So it's canceling it out. So you guys could have just wanted to leave and go into, you know, un unchoppy waters, okay? It's like, nah, I'd rather just heal because it's, it's a burden in either way, okay? Um, for some, you guys are going to heal the situation. Yeah, Page of Pentacles definitely could have a child towards Virgo or Capricorn child. Um, you know, so it's like a family dynamic for a lot of you guys, okay? Yeah, a lot of you guys are trying to, you want to accept the cup, but you guys are like, mm, I don't know, because Virgos, you guys are very analytical as well, and you like to think of what's going to happen. You are very... It's an intelligent sign and also intuitive. People don't know that. Um, and it's like, no, I don't want to get myself back into some shit that I got out of just because of love. So it's like you want it. This person wants to talk. This person wants to come because if they didn't, they wouldn't be standing right there. This is the wounded warrior. This is person acts like this because they've been hurt before. So we have the hangman. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Pisces, okay? So things might have been in limbo for a while, but somebody definitely wants to work on it. This situation could have been with the Pisces at work, um, but definitely coming back from the past. It was stagnant, but somebody's coming back to work on this. Also because of the kids as well, because kids keep coming out a lot in the cards. Children. Um, but somebody definitely wants to work on something from your past. Like I said, it could be a Pisces that may, might have just not been given enough, okay? Um, you could have been monetarily dependent on this person as well. For some of you guys, we have the Queen of Cups. 
definitely somebody that you love, but it's just like they didn't put it in as much as you did, and you had to cut it short. Because it's like, you got to put in as much as I do. So that's why this person is king of cups, whoever has this love energy towards you. Yeah, that's why you close it up. But you have anxiety about closing it up, too. You can barely sleep at night, too. So you guys are probably excited that this person is coming back in, but you're trying to move. Most of you guys, this person has already come back. And I feel like at this point, you're just trying to stay balanced because you don't want to go head over heels again like you were before. But I see that you really do give a fuck about this person, okay? Um, the king of cups, this person coming with their emotions, also coming in with the knight of cups. Emotional messages, maybe want to date again, want to take you out just to balance the scales because they could see that they were a fucked up individual. Can we clarify this King of Cups? What was the energy around this King of Cups? What's the energy around them now? Yeah, the Eight of Swords, they were trapped in their head. You were the Nine of Swords. So it may seem a little bit more painful to you, but they were in much as pain as much pain as you were. The Five of Cups, regretting it. Okay, this is the energy that they were in. That's why they feel like they have to come balance the scales. Mm -hmm. You guys could have lived together, like I said, had a family. Uh, could feel like this was a... a divinely guided union with the 1111 card for most of us readers but the four wands talks about stability and the relationship this person could feel bad for not having the stability that they should have or if you guys were very stable somebody walked away and they were very sad and in regret when you guys didn't come together okay the way that they're used to coming together especially with the four wands that's a strong union okay yeah um it could have been a scorpio that, that could have been you could have been waiting for the ships to come in with with a Scorpio or it could have just been like it's ended but you were still looking for the ships to come in okay I don't, I don't feel like either one of you guys really wanted to end this but it's just like I can't take this heartbreak anymore so I gotta do what I gotta do but I see it was heartbreak but still wanting a resurrection okay could be with a Sagittarius okay but you want to balance too but you guys want to do it the right way Mm hmm definitely messages of love from this person talking about wanting to rebuild again after the tower has fallen so for some of you guys i feel like the tower has already fallen in this situation okay i'm just gonna pull a couple what's the reason for the tower why is this tower here what happened what's the reason for the breakdown okay Someone stood up for themselves. Seven of uh, wands. Yeah, it could be a cancer. For some of you guys, you guys stood up to a cancer. It's like, no, I have to defend myself. Or a Leo for some of you guys, okay? A cancer could have definitely come to their senses and had some enlightenment um, after you stood up for yourself, okay? Some people don't know sometimes. Sometimes you got to let them know. It's like people can't read your mind all the time. Even though it makes sense to Virgo, you guys have to make sense of everything. It might not make sense to that person. Yeah. Four of Wands, you like maybe got rid of this person because you needed your peace of mind back with the Four of Wands. Some of you guys could have been sick or under the weather as well. And this person over here, you could have actually had other offers, but you didn't want those either. You wanted to just take a fucking break, okay? Um, to gain your strength back for some of you guys. And for some of you guys, it was definitely a Leo that you were taking a break from. Yeah. Definitely, the Nine of Pentacles decided to be single, okay? I feel like most of you guys have already went through this. But I don't feel like neither one of you guys wanted this to be over. You just wanted this person to care, okay? So we're going to do the Romance Oracles here. The Archangels, what is the romance guidance that flew out? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you guys together. Pay attention to the red flags, the signs are costing you for giving and learning very soon and trust. Okay, guys? So now you guys know I get this sometimes. So it could be two scenarios. I haven't had the energy broken up like this in a while. But for one, you're calling your soulmate. It was good that you walked away. Um, and for these people, you are going to continue to see red flags. Those are the ones that probably need to keep fucking going, okay? But I'm going to clarify this. Yeah, calling your soulmate. Some of you guys could be calling an emperor, okay? It could be a baby daddy. It could be a, a boss. It could be um, an Aries or a Taurus, okay? 
but this is a very dominant male. And also standing up for yourself could bring a soulmate in as well. Yeah, for some of you guys, you have a child with this person, but not really sure where it's going to go. We're going to get the unknown card here, but it's like you're calling them, calling this person in. And we also have to pay attention to the red flags. Huh? For some of you guys, it's giving me that um, the red flag is that you could be pregnant, all right? Uh, the Empress came out on top of it, but that could also be a pay attention to the red flags with a Libra or a Taurus. Yeah, uh, the red flag. Oh, so for another set of you guys, it could be that this person has somebody, something on the side. They could have somebody pregnant and live with this person. Okay, that message won't be for many, but that's the red flag. You find out, or you may need to find out that this person is pregnant and uh, move, have some type of foundation with someone else. Okay, for others, you are the person that's pregnant. Okay, because I said you're calling in someone, and the emperor can be a baby daddy. And here's a child here with the page of pentacles. Okay, guys. That's a very specific message. You'll know who the fuck I'm talking to, all right? Or you will soon if it's not your message, if you don't feel like it's your message. We have the forgiving and learning. I told you, for some people that you're going to forgive this person, they're coming in very soon. Very soon, you guys are going to be good. Just trust. It's calling you to have faith. For some of you that felt like this was your soulmate, it is. It's just ha It just has to have a shift. Some things may have to come into planetary alignment. We have a new moon coming up, I think, in Libra soon or third, one of the two. Yeah, once things shift, this person is going to fly in very soon. Trust, okay? It's just that you might have to forgive this person. Mm-hmm. Definitely somebody that you already love. So the people that know what I'm talking about, you know that this is your person because you already love this person. Yes. Got the Queen of Cups with the Ace of Cups. They could definitely come in offering an Ace of Cups. Fly in after this shift happens. Especially if you have to stand up to this person. They might have been shitty before. But now it's like, oh, okay, I know why they did that. I had time alone to come to my motherfucking senses. I told you, because somebody's in that feeling. They're the King of Cups. So somebody's letting you know about some feelings. They might not be crying. Uh -uh. They, they want to control their feelings still. But they be like, look, baby, I, I didn't like it when we were apart. You know, they might not be mushy-gushy, but they letting you know. Okay, look, man, let's just go out. Let's just try to make this right. Let's go just spend some time together, you know? Okay, but for some, calling your soulmate, you can have a child with this person that's coming in. It's not giving me much because it's giving me the unknown. So it, divine timing has to play out in that. And then, like I said, we have to pay attention to red flags. Some, for some, uh, someone has somebody pregnant and they're already working on another union elsewhere, okay? Or for some, if, maybe if it's a new love, be careful because it could be somebody that got somebody pregnant and a whole foundation somebody was somewhere else. Then let me know for some that's single or just getting out there, this could be the red flag that your ass need to pay attention to. I don't feel like this is the situation in these other two scenarios that I was, was talking about. But it could be, okay? But for new, people that have new people, I'm going to pull one more card. This could definitely be the case, okay? They gave us two. Uh-huh. Yeah, Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, for some of you guys, you felt trapped or whatever, but you might need to walk away before you get trapped, all right? Okay. Or you might have walked away from somebody and your ass is trapped now because come to find out you're pregnant. And those could be the red flags. I'm sorry, I'm getting a lot with this. If some, well, some of you guys have been thinking that you're pregnant. Go get that test and see if you're pregnant because that could be the red flag. And now your ass is trapped and now you're pregnant and boom. Pay attention to the red flag for some of you guys that think you're pregnant. Go get tested because you definitely could be. All right, loves. That is your reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the time frame of August 20... I just want to be correct. 22nd through September 1st. Love you guys. If you would like a personal reading to tap into your own energy, reach out to me at VenusianScorpIntuition at gmail.com. Bye-bye.